Why is Thomas Coram's story so important? Well, apart from the fact that it is a most incredible story, it's the continuing story of caring for children, which is even more important today. And I think young people today should know what he did for children. And also, it's an example of them, themselves, to know that he went off as a small boy, it's true, but achieved all this. It gives people something to aim for, that you can do great things in life, as he did from very small beginnings. <laughs> so could you tell me a little more about the process of creating a book? Oh gosh, the process of creating a book. Well, how this came about is that I read and knew the Coram story and with my particular interest and, and what I do, I thought, gosh, there is a story here. So I sat down with, with a block of paper and gradually worked it through. I visualised what it would have looked like and scribbled it out and then wrote the synopsis of it and then worked it up and then contacted Albany. So he, he rang me and said, wouldn't this make a nice story? Do you want to do the drawings? We, we work together in the same sort of pattern other children's books we've done and he knows what I want and I know what he can do so I can work out the pictures that we want and I know he knows how I expect to see things and it works very well. And we were at school together. That's right. In, in the distant past. And for me, Coram has got a particular resonance because my own grandfather in the late 1800s, ran away to sea at the age of 12 onto a tea clipper and didn't come home for seven years. So to me, it's rather exciting to, to do that early bit based on, that, on my grandfather.